So the Big Bang, you know, in the beginning there was just nothing. It was just no sure. light, no whatever, no... Also true in creationism. Right. Just pointing out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, like, when they say that there was nothing... Yeah. Like, I don't buy it. Like, what do you mean? Because where did the mass come from? Like, know? yeah, like, yeah. And, and then even if there was nothing, like, what the f*** does that mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what... What is what, nothing? Right. And it's just, like, I understand that it's just space and it's just, like, whatever. But, like, it doesn't make sense one way or the other that it just, like, all of a sudden there was just Big Bang and then there was just stuff. It's okay. just, like... Well, let me put... But, like, what does it mean when they say that there was just absolutely nothing? nothing. Okay. Because of, like there's nothing then there can't be anything so this is this is two topics then what is nothing the other thing is what is the big bang yeah. right right um, so here's how they stumbled onto the big bang theory so they were measuring uh, stars and whatnot stuff going on in the cosmos and they made the discovery that uh, holy cow the universe is expanding that's bizarre we have been monitoring stars since we've been able to to do it, you know what I mean, since the invention of telescopes and whatnot, Galileo and all that junk. We've been doing it for a long time. We have it down and we can map this movement. So they brought it back to see, like, how far back they could take it. And they're like, how strange that it all seems to come back into this one little point. Uh, and one guy, I don't remember his name, was like, oh, it's almost as if when it started, there was a big bang. Because they traced it back down to the fact that it was in this very small space, and then very quickly it became this, you know, this Can big expanding right thing. Here? Like, there's a theory after the Big Bang there's going to be a big collapse. Yeah. I think the, the big collapse is even more absurd than the Big Bang. Than the Big Bang theory? I've never heard I of think that. that. I think big that. collapse. I've never Cause heard of that. Because that's what they said. Like, it was a cycle. Big Bang, big collapse. Big yeah. Bang, big collapse. I've had I've, I've stumbled onto that theory myself before, where I was like, if all matter gets sucked into black holes, eventually there's gonna be nothing here, and it's all gonna be shot out wherever the black but holes. But were there go. black holes even before the Big Bang? Were black holes before the Big Bang? Or oh, no, what? technically, because they are still. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what is nothing? And that's a very good question. Do you know uh, what I'm saying though? But like, that's, yeah, it's mind bending to even think that like, how long was there nothing before there was a Big Bang, and what was it that made the Big Bang even compress enough to get so hot or whatever to blow up? It's just like, what was that one point? Can I tell you what science thinks right now? Sure. There's a there's a very strong indication that uh, our three dimensional universe was created from the collapse of a four dimensional star. Okay. And I know that's mind blowing because, and here's goes back to your what is nothing thing. Uh, our brains can't comprehend anything outside of the third dimension. We only can comprehend the third dimension because that's the dimension we exist in. Right. Three dimensions. Reality. That's our junk, right? So before that, before three dimensions, we were either four dimensions or two dimensions. And we can't wrap our heads around that, let alone what could have been before three dimensions existed right after the big bang so we won't ever really be able to understand what happened what was nothing before oh. the big bang because we can't it's so frustrating because you know we're under we're able to understand that there's supposed to be something there's something missing like mm -hmm. you know what i mean we mm -hmm. understand that there's a there, that there's something that we don't understand that it's missing but we can't even and we also understand that we won't even understand we won't even fathom it. Yeah. So we, even though that we know that there needs to be an answer and we know that we can't comprehend the answer, we'll never know it because we'll just never be able to understand it. It's so frustrating. That's very true. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's frustrating to know that there's supposed to be something there and that we know that there's supposed to be something there and then we also know that we'll never know what it is. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the podcast tonight. We really appreciate you guys leaving those comments. Peace out. Peace out.